teachers, we can only divide our attention up so many ways. How do we make sure all of our students' needs are being met? That's what we're talking about in today's teaching tip video coming up. If this is your first time on this channel, I do teaching tip videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so consider subscribing. Okay, so if you're anything like me, you find yourself dividing your attention mostly among the students that demand it most, and that's your behaviorally challenged students or the students that are the most difficult in your room. And I feel bad about the other students. What about them? How can I make sure those students' needs are being met? Well. What I do is I try to find little pockets of time that are exclusive to those students. For example, today I had lunch bunch with six of my students that are always doing the right thing. Right before lunch, I just asked if those six students would like to eat with me in the classroom, and we did. It was a great time. So it's all about finding those little pockets of time to spend with those students who don't get your attention on a regular basis. That helps to continue building that relationship and keeping that relationship strong because you've got to keep those students who are already on your side on your side. If you let that slip and if you don't show them attention and the love and the care, they may turn on you. So you got to make sure that those students who you already have on your team keep them there. A telltale sign that one of your students who is on your team is starting to flip, is starting to change teams, if you will, is you'll have a student that normally doesn't misbehave all of a sudden start doing goofy stuff for no reason. That's when you know it's time to spend a little bit of extra time and attention on that individual student to make sure that that relationship stays strong. Because we all know we've got a few that are demanding most of our attention. So. That's just a quick tip for you today, guys. Make little pockets of time for those students who are already on your team and are always doing the right thing. We can't forget about those students. Make it a great day, teachers. I will be back again on Monday with a brand new teaching tip video. Drop a like on this video if you see fit. And comment down below. What do you do for those students, those high-performing, well-behaved students? How do you show them time and, and give them the attention that they need? Comment down below. Share our ideas. See you next time.